When I got my first job in my 20s, I was amazed by how unhappy I could be having all my basic needs met. You know, I had the decent job, I had enough money to live, lived in an okay apartment, lived with friends, had a girlfriend, but still underneath it all was just this malaise, this existential crisis about life. Like, is this all I'm going to do every day for the rest of my life? This is the grand purpose, the grand scheme, the end point of my life. This picket fence, 2.5 kids, and the daily job that I'm eh about? This inspired me to do a 30-day test that since then has become one of the most impactful tests in my life. And I'm going to share it with you guys today. Hey guys, Alex Hine, author of the book Master the Dizzle. Now, I've included the first link in the description there for a free journaling worksheet. So this process can really be working well with journaling exercises. And I've included the first link in the description is for a free journaling worksheet and a weekly email series that's going to show you how I use journaling to reinvent my life. So you can check it out right there below. So this 30-day challenge is really running a flow test. Now, the idea of flow comes from a Hungarian positive psychologist named Mihai Csikszentmihalyi. And he did really interesting research that I thought is pretty cool. So what he would do was he would hook people up to a beeper or some method of notifying people to check on themselves many, many times a day. And he found that even though people self-reported that they were the happiest in their free time and the most unhappy at work, when he actually hooked them up to these beepers and had them record these flow criteria, he found that most people were the least happy and least in flow in their leisure time and the most in flow at work. Now, I thought this was really cool because what we think and what reality is is often very different. But what it led me to doing is actually trying a 30-day flow test on myself to see where I am truly the most happy, the most engaged, and the most really interested in my life. So here's how you do a 30-day flow test. What you do is you basically either set recurring phone alarms or you can use like habit apps that have reminders. And at certain intervals, I would recommend every other hour, so 9 a.m., 11 a.m., 1 p.m., 3 p.m., 5, 7, 9, 11, you actually have an alarm go off at that time. And when the alarm goes off, no matter what you're doing, you just write down two things. What am I doing? And am I in flow to the point where this is enjoyable, time is going by, time is passing, and I'm not noticing it. So it's like the feeling of time flying by and you internally feel good. So when those alarms go off, you write down, what was I exactly doing? Specifically, what am I doing? Am I at work working on what project? Am I at school in what class? Am I studying for what thing? Write that down, specific. And then how am I feeling? Am I like, yeah, this is cool. This is, it's flowing. We use that word flow. And then after a month, or even just a week, you have all this really, really interesting data on the peak experiences where time is flowing by and you're in a good state of mind. So I'm going to issue a 30-day flow challenge here for you for the next, let's just say a seven-day flow challenge, all right? For the next seven days, I want you to set an alarm at 9, 11, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and again at 11. So basically a 14-hour day there. And you're just going to do this test. And like me, maybe you're going to realize certain things like, oh, you know, there's this one particular class or this part of my job that I really, really don't like. Or you realize, hey, I was working on this tough project, but actually it's pretty enjoyable. Like I'm, I don't notice time passing and that's really a signature of flow. I thought I didn't like it, but actually it turns out I like that challenge. Maybe in the evening you go to salsa or judo or a programming class and you realize, whoa, two hours went by and I didn't even notice it. That's pretty cool. I need to do more of that in my life. So you're gonna come up with all these things and realize you're gonna have a data bank of your happiest moments, your most flow producing moments, and the moments to you that really you wanna fill your life with more. Because in general, what he found in his research was that the more flow experiences, more peak experiences, generally the happier the person. So the more of your day is spent in flow, usually the happier and the more fulfilled you end up being. So try this flow experiment for 30 days. Let me know how it works for you. It's been pretty dramatic in my own life and it gives you a lot of data about yourself to know yourself better. 
Of course, if you want, check the first link in the description. I've included a free journaling worksheet that can also possibly help you run your own flow test. And if you sign up there below, I've also included a weekly email series on how I use journaling to totally reinvent my life. So check it out down there below, and you can then check out my related video on this exact subject right there and right there.